Please ask Connie Wasserman to come up to the stage. Connie, look at me. I'm pretty much aware of what Connie is going to be saying in her speech. I'm pretty much aware of it, as everybody else is in this room, because most of us actually know who Connie is. Most of us know what Connie does. Most of us know what's inside of this woman's heart. And what she's probably going to say is, it's not about her. It's about all of us. It's about all of the people that she serves. It's about her staff. It's about the JCC. It's about her family. Am I right, Connie? <laughs> but the truth of the matter is, darling, it's all about you. Today is all about you. It's all about your vision. It's the vision that you had and how you brought it to life. It's about the lives that you touched, not hundreds, but thousands over 18 years. It's about the attention that you paid to your sense of professionalism. It's about the way you treated your staff. It's about the way you handled and, and dealt with your colleagues. It's about the lives that you made better by the very fact of who it is that you are and what it is that you have achieved over all of these years. We honor you, Connie, not because of everybody else in this room, but because of you. And we want to thank you for everything that you've done, for the lives that you've touched, for the heart that you have, and for the wonderful human being that you are. Thank you. I'm going to end by just actually quoting something that I read in this book. It's on the first page, and I'm going to give credit to Nancy Walbaum, whom I understood actually wrote it. It says, your hands have created magic, your heart has made miracles. I'd like to ask Joni to come up and just give you a little gift on behalf of this honor. I have to hold this up. This work was created through MIM therapy, which is what we use with Alzheimer's patients to keep their minds sharp and to get them to create them. This one was chosen with you in mind. A great colleague and a wonderful friend. I'm for Clint. <laughs> Rendered speechless, and if you know me, that's rare. I, I don't even know how to say thank you, David. Those are the most wonderful, wonderful things that anyone... <sighs> okay. Thank you. And thank you, Pat, Kathleen, Judy, and Denise. You cared for your loved ones with such grace and love. You continue to be my inspiration. To quote Hillary Clinton, it takes a village, not just one person, to care for the most vulnerable members of our community. Oh boy, I'm shaking. Okay. You would think after all these years I'd get used to this, not so much. There are so many people who have helped to make today possible, and I'd like to thank them. First is my husband of almost 40 years, Dave. For always supporting me in everything that I do for unconditionally loving me, and for helping to care for all of our parents in the most loving and gentle way. 
You're my hero, and I love you in front of 400 people. <laughs> my two wonderful sons, Matthew and Joseph, for always supporting and respecting my work. My family and friends, some who have traveled far and wide, Massachusetts, upstate New York, and New Jersey, to share this very special day with me. I love you all. An, an agency who took a chance and hired me almost 18 years ago to create an adult day program because they knew the tsunami of frail elders would soon hit. A board of directors who, when I came to them 11 years ago, with an idea, because I could not help a 36-year-old man diagnosed with young-onset Alzheimer's disease. I left that board meeting with enough money to start a new program, which then became the first and only program of its kind for people in their 30s, 40s, and 50s with dementia. This past January marked the 10-year anniversary of this groundbreaking Young Onset program. My colleagues and co-workers, thank you for your love and your friendship. It has meant the world to me. All the Friendship Circle, GEMS, and Let's Do Lunch staff and volunteers who have devoted themselves to work with our participants. And to Taylor, Taylor, where are you? Raise your hand. Stand up. A young social work intern who said yes eight years ago and who is now a licensed social worker leading and directing the programs. Thank you, Debbie and Donna, and the entire Yellow Rose and Friendship Circle Luncheon Committee. Can you all stand up? tirelessly in today's luncheon is really the best one yet. Thank you. These women are the reason. Signs, please. Just a moment. I only will take one more moment, I promise. These women are the reason we're able to raise so much money for the continuation and growth of these programs so we can serve more and more people in our community. And to each and every one of you here, thank you. None of this is possible without your support, so let's give you a round of applause. According to the Alzheimer's Association, close to 15 million family caregivers are caring for someone with Alzheimer's disease or other dementia. Did you know that there's a health risk to being a caregiver? The fact is, caregivers have an increased risk of developing a chronic illness themselves, as well as developing significant symptoms of depression.
There are organizations that raise money for research and finding a cure. We need these organizations and we support them. But until a cure is found, who will continue to care for those who are already diagnosed and their families while in the throes of this devastating disease? When I began the program 18 years ago, I had three participants attending the Friendship Circle program one day each week. Today, we serve more than 130 individuals and their families five days a week with extended hours and at multiple sites. Because our Young Onset program is still one of the only programs of its kind, this year we expanded into Suffolk County. And because the Persian community in Great Neck is in need of programming that's culturally sensitive to their needs, we'll be starting a program there in the next few weeks. Until a cure is found, we will be here and anywhere we're needed. It takes a village, not just one person. On behalf of, the, of all the individuals and families we serve, thank you. I humbly accept today's honor on behalf of the entire village. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.